So, uh, Sifu, uh, we have a question. So, in the internet, we see a lot of people doing chi sao like, like this. But that's not real chi sao. Can you let us know what real chi sao is and explain what it is for us? So, real chi sao is designed to work off the point of contact. So, if, you, if somebody breaks the point of contact and starts flying around, they've already negated the drill, the purpose of the drill. So it's it's efferent nervous system conditioning off the point of contact. So if if we're doing if we're rolling hands here, you see a lot of what they call poon sound stuff. So if I'm rolling like this, and he throws a strike. I don't know if it's straight around, but my point of contact here is a reference point, right on this top hand. And this is my center line strike. I'm keeping forward pressure on his arm, so that wedges that punch out of my face once I strike. But if we're rolling, and I, the spontaneous reflex is what you're trying to develop off the point of contact. Now from here, it bonks out his hand up. I can find with a stopping palm here. Or, from this point of contact, I can use footwork and roll this away with a bong sow and a larp sow and try to pull him into butt sow or to build GM in the eyes or something as an application. But because it's an adjunct to training, chi sow is an adjunct to training, it's not sparring, it's an adjunct to sparring. So if I'm rolling like this, and his elbows are in, he's got proper structure for Wing Chun, and he throws a round force at me or something, I can block and switch and hit off of this. And with my neutral, I can half step and take them off balance this way. There's a whole lot of things you can do, but you have to work off the point of contact. And the point of contact is why we engage with the arms in contact. Because this, we don't fight this way. We don't walk around each other and fight like this. What we do is he, he puts his guard up and I jump in and I come with an arm obstruction. I pull this arm down, I throw the punch, he blocks my hand. He blocks my hand here. So I can, tra I can trap him, I can exchange step and trap. He goes here, I put my footwork and I put him in an arm draft. That's all Wing Chun. That movie came right out of Chunk Kill. If you look at the second form in the form, the bridge, bridge on arm. So I also use retreat footwork there. So in this particular type of Wing Chun that we use in Mountain Dragon Martial Arts, we use pursuit. So I might use a strike here, and then I'll use another technique and put them in pursuit. In Jiu Jitsu, that's Oshi Tai Oshi. So let's see here. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people say Wing Chun doesn't have sensitivity, and there's no way to train sensitivity. But Chi Sao is a way to train sensitivity. Is that correct? Sensitivity is based off of point of contact reference. So it's in sensitivity, get a gauge of sensitivity, your partner can tell when you're pushing and when you're not really pushing. So if I'm not pushing through his spine, I'm not gonna control his balance. If I'm just push, pushing superficially on his arm, his arm can just go away and come back. He pushes on my elbow, I can just let it go right through and hit him, okay? He pushes on my forearm, I can use the elbow and hit him with an elbow, see? So the sensitivity is based on this point of contact, pushing into my spine, trying to take my balance. Because whether you're doing any martial arts, going to have off balance as a key tenant of uh, positional control. So from this position, I can do anything in terms of just striking straight into the face. I have a point of contact here and a point of contact here, and he has a point of contact on my arm. But timing such that I got that strike off on the center line, and so I'm able to hit him in the face. Now, if he blocks that hand, blocks his hand out of the way, then I can come with this technique and trap, trap to the elbow. See, I took his balance because my footwork's involved, and then I follow up with a strike, my own strike. I can trap here and hit to the, the kidneys. So I'm always trying to work off the point of contact. I'm always trying to deliver my energy moving forward. And that's why I took a step. This isn't fixed hands play. Fixed feet, I mean. We're not, we're not stuck, on a, stuck on a platform or a board here. If he throws a punch at me, and I step off the line, I can kick the point and fall over the strike. And that's how fast it becomes, because when he, when he breaks contact with you, it creates a void, and you flow into that void. You must research this. Well, 